I grew up just north of Santa Rosa with a mom, a dad, and a little brother. My dad worked at the post office, my mom as a bank teller. I knew nothing about planning as a career. I was a teenager trying to start a punk rock club in Santa Rosa. And I actually sat across the table from a planner and he told me everything about the fire department permitting, the police department permitting, the sound permit, the conditional use permit. And I remember as he was walking me through this incredibly onerous set of steps, I thought, well, I can do all this. This is great. I can, this is easy. So that's how I first learned about planning was sitting at that table. It just clicked. I like the idea that cities and the people that live in them can collectively agree to rules that help make the community better. I truly believe everybody should have a place to live. It should be safe and it should be sanitary and it should be a place that is ultimately supportive of a high quality of life. I've always had the ability to relate to people and I really credit my grandma and my dad for that. Honestly, they could talk to anybody and they did. Whenever I'm thinking about how cities talk to the members of the community, I always think about if my dad or my grandma received this notice from the city, would they understand what the city was talking about? I really like people. I like hearing their stories and they really often influence how I approach my work. San Jose just formed me as a planner. After San Jose, my family and I moved to Santa Rosa. I worked on a lot of affordable housing projects. I worked on some really great public policy projects like the Southeast Greenway and the Citywide Creek Master Plan and a grocery store initiative. I moved to the city of Napa in 2017. I was a planning director there for four years, overseeing both planning and code enforcement. My biggest accomplishment was working to revive the Napa Pipe Project. It's 150 acres. It goes all the way out to the Napa River. I worked through a very complicated negotiation with both the county of Napa and the developer, really culminating in an approved plan that should bring about 950 housing units, public parks, and a trail that actually connects with the existing Vine Trail and the Bay Trail. What initially drew me to Vacaville is I see there's just so much opportunity here. This is a great community and yet I see how we can make it even better. 80% of our Vacaville residents actually leave Vacaville every day to go to work. And 80% of our workforce here in Vacaville comes from outside Vacaville. When you look at how our climate is changing and the kind of events that can happen, having housing near jobs and, and reducing people's commute patterns and reducing greenhouse gas emissions is positive for the climate and it's positive for greenhouse gas reductions, but it's actually positive for people's lives. If you're not commuting, you're not generating greenhouse gas emissions, and you probably have time to pursue healthy activities and go to your children's school performance and maybe even walk your kids to school. That is why infill housing development projects and infill industrial development projects are so important. The problem we're trying to solve here in the city of Vacaville is a long-term strategy that helps us to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and incorporate more policies in general into our community development activities. Our community is like in the throes of a renaissance. Uh, so uh, it's great to have another team player on board that's excited about the work and that's skilled enough to be able to really do a good job. Here in Vacaville, downtown presents a tremendous opportunity to put more people in denser housing in an environment where they can access shops and restaurants and transit. I feel like my mission is to help this city diversify its housing for the betterment of both existing workers that come here from out of the area, but also businesses that are looking for people to work at these great jobs. The Green Tree Project is a classic infill mixed use development on about 185 acres in northeast Vacaville. Green Tree is very close to our biotech hub down that way and that's um, really the the beauty of this project is it will put people in housing very close to their jobs in Vacaville. In Vacaville, a lot of the past development and current development is on former agricultural lands um, at the edge of the city or even within the city. But this is a case where this project is on a site that was previously used as a golf course. It's surrounded by existing development on all sides, and it feels like it's an amazing opportunity to achieve a lot of valuable workforce housing um, that really will help um, Vacaville achieve its economic um, and community goals.
Oftentimes, very specifically in government, you know, we can create a lot of policies and a lot of plans and they don't go anywhere. And you need someone that can drive it past the development phase into the implementation phase. And Ms. Morris is solidly an impact player when it comes to that. A lot of planners can be gatekeepers where almost like give me a reason to say yes. And Aaron was more, let me help you figure out how to get this project to be a yes. I think that what drives Erin is to make a difference. I think what she brings to Vacaville is the ability to listen to people. After, for me, 22 years, I still find this work to be so exciting and so positive, and yet it is also some of the hardest work. It requires a level of persistence and optimism that we can't find every day. Planning makes a difference. The built environment is important to people. Our work matters, even if it's not particularly glamorous. Some people are more vocal, but everybody counts. 